Thanks for watching this video. Uh, I hope you're... It's a bit noisy for 7am, isn't it? Ooh. Mm. Buenas mañana, aliens. Welcome to this video. Okay, 5.57am. Awesome. I know it's bad to check my phone first thing in the morning, but it's what I do. Sorry. I have to do a shoo shoo. Good morning! Yay! <laughs> okay, so I know I've done Get Ready With Me's and my makeup routine in vlogs before, but I've never done like a video dedicated to it, so this is what this is. It was requested by one of my aliens, so I feel like really bougie doing this like because it was a request. I didn't even know. Miguel. Right, I'm just gonna show you what's going on. So Miguel is currently in the crate. He doesn't sleep in the crate. That's why we have this pen here because if we let him free roam like we did with Pepito, he will do poop poops on the bed and we don't like that. So through the night, let me just get in here. Hola bambino. Through the night he is loose, uh, but it gets to 4 a.m., right? And he starts making so much noise, so much noise, that I have to actually put him in the crate and close the door. I don't like doing that, but I also don't like not sleeping. <laughs> so that's where we are. Anyway, I can let him run around a bit more because I'm awake now. In this pen is where Miguel spends his time when we're asleep or we're not home. If we are home, he usually comes downstairs with us. And then this is his little crate. He's got his bathroom at the end and then all this lounge space and then a little playroom. <laughs> He's camera shy. Good morning, Bambino. Hello. And you made a ruckus. A ruckus. After I made my coffee, I let it cool while I went for a quick body shower. This is my makeup table. It's not like bougie or anything, but it's it's what I need and I quite like it. I usually do my makeup in the spare room because I don't want to disturb Alex when he's asleep. But he's already at work this morning, so we're going to do it in here today. These three things I use the most. This is my liquid liner, my mascara, and then some lip balm. Lip balm is so important. Do not overlook your lip balm. But today I'm going out, so I'm going to do something a bit fancy with my makeup. So I have my blusher, highlighter and contour palette here ready to go. I've also picked out my earrings and an extra ring for the day. We're going with a purple theme. I know my nails are chipped, but YOLO. Here are some creams that you may have seen before if you watch my Rockerbox videos. I don't use these every day, but these are the ones I do use through the week. So I have this almond butter, this skin repair mask, a probiotic serum. This is a primer which, um... Guys, I don't use a primer every day, sue me, I don't even know. But today I'm going to be putting on a bit more makeup than usual, so I will be using a primer today. And then just behind here I have an SPF as well. I recently went for a facial and my beauty therapist told me that I need an SPF, so I've been using this one. Here I have some of my fragrances. This one at the back here I got from Primark, but it smells a bit like black opium. It's not very strong, obviously it's from Primark, it was £4, but I quite like the bottle and I like the smell too. This one's from Lancome. These three are from Moschino, or Moschino. I don't know how to say it. I don't use them, but I like the way they look on here. And I also went through a phase of collecting mini perfumes too. This one smells really good and you can tell that I like it because I've nearly finished it. This one is my second favorite scent from this collection, the mini pink. I don't like it, but I just bought it because it goes with the other ones. Okay, I don't, I don't even know. Maybe I'll like it later in life. Up here I have some other various face serums and face creams. I have all of my Kiko lipsticks. I really like Kiko. I feel like all these colours really suit me. I have eight lipsticks from their Smart collection. And then at the back there I just have my, my eyebrow shapers. The last bit of my Black Opium from Yves Saint Laurent. And some other various tools like tweezers and scissors. Hey guys, don't forget to take your vitamins. If you live somewhere that isn't sunny, you need some vitamin D. Okay, vitamin D is so good for your mental health. It's good for weight management. If you don't have enough vitamin D, you're actually prone to put on weight. It can't help you lose weight, but it can stop you from putting on excess weight. So get some D in you. <laughs> I also have a multivitamin that I take every day as well. Okay, let's do my face. So we're gonna go in with a primer. This one in particular is from Smashbox. It's so invisible that I can't see where I've put it already. I'm currently using a foundation from NYX, or NYX. Um, it's rubbish and I can't wait until it's empty so I can get a new one. I'm thinking of trying out Fenty Beauty. What is everyone's opinion on Fenty? Is it worth it? Is it worth the price? It's a little bit more on the expensive side for foundation, but I'm willing to pay it if it's really good, you know what I'm saying? 
So please, if you use Fenty or if you have friends or family that use Fenty, let me know because I really don't like this next one, but I also don't want to waste it. Next up, I have this eyeshadow from Urban Decay. I'm not going to do anything fancy with it. I'm just going to stick it on my eyelids. Then I'm going to go in with my eyeliner. Oh, people are watching me. I'm going to say a prayer to the eyeliner gods. Please let this go correct. Not bad, bit, bit heavy. Okay, it's not bad, it's a little bit uneven. I can probably fix it though. Wait, let me see. Okay, I think that's good. I think I'm gonna, I'm gonna leave it as that. But I'm gonna put my little signature dot. Just there. Obviously we need some mascara next. And if I was just going to work, I would like leave my face here. That would be done, but I'm not. So I'm gonna go in with my cheerleader palette. This isn't a tutorial or a how-to, this is just me showing you what I do. Um, and I'm just gonna do my contour a little bit. How are we looking, is that about even? Nobody knows, also, no one will say anything if it's not. Blush time, blush time and we get to use the big brush. I think this is what you use for blush. Um, if I'm wrong, I'm wrong, but. I swear I like the majority of my makeup products my little sister gave to me for Christmas or birthday. <laughs> so thank you, Eleanor, for teaching me how to be pretty. My highlighter, I could use the one that's in my cheerleader palette, or I could use this one, ooh, from Illamasqua. I got this in a rocker box as well. You might, <laughs> might recognize it. And we're just gonna go on the cheekbones. I feel so bougie, I really need so much makeup. Lip balm, I'm gonna show you how I put on my lip balm. It's really easy, okay. Bad boy. Just, literally I just put it on my bottom lip like this. And then rub it in. Every single day, without fail. Look after your lips, look at this little bum. Okay, since we've got a purple theme, I'm gonna choose a purple lippy. 425 from Kiko Smart. Yay! Today I'm going to use this Glow Up Mist. Spray the mist before or after makeup. You're gonna like this, I'm gonna show you. Cool, right? I uh, don't know what that does, whether it acts as a setting spray, I'm not sure. It's from Candy Cosmetics. It wasn't too expensive um, and it's really cool. And I think that's my face done. I don't know what I'm gonna do with my hair today. It's definitely gonna have it down. Yesterday I washed and blow dried it straight. It's sort of wavy now, but I don't really mind that. Actually, you know what, I, th I feel like I'm just gonna leave my hair as is. It's sort of naturally done this weird parting, which I don't hate, to be honest. Neaten it up a little bit. I wonder if I have a clip or something. I think that's the end of my makeup routine. I just have to put some earrings in, pop my ring on, and then I'm done. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you have a lovely day. Stay safe, be kind. Kind people are my kind of people. If you want to stick around, you can see a few snippets of my day. I'm going to a bigger city. I'm going to do some shopping and then have some lunch with a friend. If you just wanted to see the makeup routine, then there it is. I'll show you what I'm wearing today. So I'm wearing this Levi's top that I accidentally spilled coffee on, but we don't have to talk about that right now. And then I have a pair of my favorite Tommy Hilfiger jeans on. I'm going to wear these socks with little aliens on. See, I take you with me everywhere. And then these are my brand new Calvin Klein jeans with Andy Warhol sneaks. I'm ready a lot earlier than I thought I would be. It's seven and I don't have to leave until eight. I recently found out that I'm gonna be an auntie again. So I'm very busy knitting little baby booties and I'm trying to find some patterns for some little cardigans and like, I don't know. I'm just trying to find some baby stuff to knit because you all know I love knitting. Also, my friend and colleague Violetta is having a baby as well. So there's so many babies to knit for, I'm so excited. My boss has recently had a baby. My friend Iona has recently had a baby. There's babies everywhere. As long as they're not mine, I like them, okay. That's not to say that I'm gonna hate my babies in the future, I just don't want any babies right now. Okay, thank you for coming to my TED talk. Because today's a special occasion, I'm actually gonna have a spritz of my black opium from Yves Saint Laurent. That was three, I did not mean to do that. I just love the smell, I just love it. And I think the jacket I'm gonna wear, hold on, you'll like this. Oh, I look so cool. Do I look cool or do I just think I look cool? 
nobody knows. This jacket, I love it so much. I saw a silver one in Camden Market, but it was £150 and I could not afford it. So I went on eBay and this originally is from Zara, but I bought it from eBay for £10. And I love it very, very much. It's very me. I feel chic AF in it. I feel like it fits me well and with the UK seasons, you can only wear it for about two weeks of the year and those two weeks have just started. So I'm looking forward to that very much. I don't know what else to say to you, so let's just get on the train. <laughs> Okay, so I've arrived in Sheffield and I'm not meeting my friends until like half two or one. One of them's coming at one and then the rest are coming at half two. So I'm looking for like an independent cafe because I'm a little bit hungry. I only had a banana this morning, so I'm trying to find somewhere. But all I can find is like Greg's and Cafe Nero. And I suppose that's okay, but I'd really rather find an independent cafe. 